I'll trade my house for that. <laughs> yeah. What I can read from your eyes and your beard, I'm going to guess that that watch is going, if I could touch it, I'd get it down to the penny, the price, really. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark, thank you so much for coming onto my channel. I really appreciate it. And we're going to play a little game here. This is the guess the price of the watch game. Today, we are going to see some awesome timepieces, which probably you have never seen before. One of them is even a one out of one. Maybe you will get the price. I don't know if you are very much into the watch game. I, I'm more of a watch novice. I have a few Rolexes. That is my, my idea of luxury. But I know in the watch game, it goes well beyond that. For me, it's just something that uh, I, I would say, yeah, I'm definitely just getting into. So this is going to be fun because I don't think I'm going to get any of these right. Two out of the five that you've got in front of me, I think I'll get close. And really quick, for people that haven't seen your channel, you talk about watches, fragrances, and a few other things, right? Yes, correct. So, I mean, on my YouTube channel, I just cover all the parts of my life which I uh, love to explore. So, you know, last week I, I did bungee jumping while this I was setting a watch. So, you know, it's kind of crazy, very unusual, but always the topic is uh, fragrance, watches, yeah. If for anyone that doesn't know, you have an online store, you have watches that you sell there, also you sell fragrances, but it sounds like you guys are expanded to the US. Yes, correct. So, uh, the company is registered, everything, the structure is already standing and we are now just waiting for the resale license and then we are good to go. My dream was always to come uh, to the US and uh, yeah, maybe this dream will come true. Well, I'm excited to see it, man. Well, well, let's go ahead and get, get into it. Let's look at the first watch. What are you going to show me? So we start off, um, let's say with Audemars Piguet. Yeah, the Royal Oak during this year performed extraordinary. And within the whole Royal Oak collection, there's one timepiece which everyone is looking for. This watch is very hard to get. In my hand is the box. It always looks the same, this kind of green mahogany wood, high polished surface. And then we have in here a steel watch, the Olma PG Royal Oak Skeleton. This one, the whole movement, all is skeletonized. And you have, if you compare it to the human body, you have two hearts inside of this watch. The, the balance wheel, which yeah, gives the power to the movement or transports the power to the movement. Constantly, you have two inside here and uh, they are swinging inside, let's say, they give resonance to each other and uh, that's why this watch is accurate, I have to say. And yeah, so what would your guess? I mean, I can give you also a hint if you want to, I can tell you the retail price. Yes, help me out with the retail. What was the retail and what year is this watch? So this watch is a, a brand new. The official retail price is around 60,000 euro. I'm going to guess 91,400 euro. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, this would be correct. This would be a correct answer. If we are going back in time, let's say six months, uh, then it would be correct. Right now, this watch is selling for 160,000 euro brand new. So it's uh, almost, yeah, triple the retail price. You're exactly right. If we would go back six months, three days and two hours, that would have been the price. But, you know, and that's obviously where I was thinking because, you know, it's, I think that's what the first time I got your package, you know, I smelt one of your fragrances, Air Tiger. And that's what happened is Air Tiger like solidified this in my mind. Is that being the price? <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah. So this is one of the most high demanded watches uh, from uh, this brand. Um, this watch you will know for sure. In my hand right now is a vintage Rolex box. On the side, you also see the sticker. This one is the Rolex GMT Master 16710, also called Pepsi. And in here, it's not only the watch, no, we have the full documentation, service papers, booklets. Even, you know, this booklet, for example, it costs, if I buy it, 150 euro, just the booklet. Then we have uh, the warranty papers, other documentation, and all the hang tags together. And this, if you buy a vintage watch, you want to go for the full set. And inside of the watch, you will see the color combination, which everyone knows who's interested 
in Rolex watches. It's from the 90s, not the newest model. Back in the day, it was selling for 4,000 euro. And my question for you is, if you see now a set like this with all the papers, what would be the current selling price for this watch? So let me think. So the Tudor that I'm wearing right here, a Black Bay 58, I paid about $4,000 for that. So if that's 4,000 euro, taking how my Tudor feels here, and what I can read from your eyes and your beard, I'm gonna guess that that watch is going for 54,250 euro. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure it will go in this direction, let's say in the future, um, but this watch right now is selling for 14,500 euro. So uh, we are here just at the beginning of the ride and in this price range under 15,000 euro, this is my uh, yeah, recommendation for everyone who wants to get into watches. Uh, if you are checking out something like this, be sure it will climb up uh, to 20,000 euro easily within the next six to 10 months. So yeah, we are not at 45, not right now, but so watch will you're, what you're telling me is that that first watch, I was six months behind for this next watch. I was six years ahead, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. Cause I, I, I'd like to believe that I actually got those numbers, right? I'm just, it's the wrong period in time here. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah, this is okay. correct. Uh, if we now move on um, to the next brand. This uh, is a lot of fun, is, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Huh? Yeah. The next brand is uh, in this box right here. Ooh. It looks kind of futuristic. The brand is called uh, Richard Mill. They registered the company in 1988. It's, uh, it's not that long ago. And in my hand right now is uh, a special watch made out of a material metal mixed with ceramic. This one is my personal watch. Um, I got it last year and it's also written prototype at the backside. Are you familiar with the brand? I, I am not familiar with the brand. So this is, uh, this is all new to me. Do you have a retail price? Like what was the retail price approximately of this? For this watch, the retail probably was uh, around 160,000 euro. So I'm going to guess, is this the one of one or is this something that uh, are, you say it's a prototype? So I think the price has increased a bit. So I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to say 254,900 euro. You know, the, the watch was there in the past. Right now, the prices for this kind of watches went up like crazy every royal family member or if you are let's say a young guy a little bit wealthy you need to have rm in your watch collection just because in this kind of style nothing is existing okay if you are going to see uh, a watch like this on someone's wrist you know for sure that the watch is minimum 200,000 euro and uh, for this prototype watch if you take a look at the market currently other prototype watches are around 500,000 euro and uh, especially here this material they just release it in a limited edition so you are here at let's say 500,000. So you're saying I was off just by a bit but you know so so maybe yeah. six six months ago five months ago it was that price? Uh, for this watch is uh, 12 months ago. Got it yeah okay so I'll, I'll go ahead and give you that one I'll say that one I was off I'll, I'll be I'll be straight about that one. So do you ever wear that watch and are you a little bit worried that someone's just gonna come around and chop your hand off? In Germany, it works currently like this. If I'm on the streets or somewhere somewhere with watches, I, I'm always with security. Uh, it's not possible the other way. Um, of course, if you if you are wearing some something like this, you always need to have security and I, I would never uh, take a risk, uh, risk uh, and go without security. Well, here, case. when you come to the U.S., you know, you can get your concealed carry permit or, or actually there are many states that you're, and you just, you know, be like a modern day cowboy. You know, it's like, you just will get you a nice, you know, gold plated nine mil and you can have that right in there. Be total gangster. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> As a next stop right now, we go back to the brand Rolex and this watch is uh, very popular. It's this watch right here. In my hand is one day just which you probably know but all set with small diamond stones this one is full iced out on here are approximately 
13.5 carat uh, of diamonds, small br brilliant cut diamonds. And yeah, my question for you is, what is currently the price for a watch like this? The basic model, if you're just taking the plain one, uh, the plain model costs around 8,000 euro. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit more? Is this a custom job or is this actually, did Rolex design this? No. So what uh, we do here is we take the basic Datejust model and then uh, the diamond setter just put, let's say, 1,200 holes inside of this watch. And uh, yeah, after that, the watch got set with diamonds. So this one is done. So I, I, I need to get this one close because I actually have a Datejust. It's not tricked out like yours. But with all that bling on it, all that diamond, all that handwork, I mean, I'm guessing this thing has to be at least $96,400. I probably went high, but you know, I, I'm seeing the future <laughs> on this. So you have here the look of a 100,000 euro watch for sure. For sure. Uh, if you ask someone on the street, he would say, this is a Rolex with diamonds and it must cost 100,000. But we are here at the selling price of 18,000 euro. Can you imagine? 18,000 euro. Did you say 18,000? Yeah, this is correct. 18,000. The small kind of diamonds are not okay. so expensive. No, I, I, you know, I did that. Wow, that's shocking. Yeah, for one fifth the price, you have the look that you're going for. And actually, that's a very affordable Rolex, um, you know, compared to, you know, a lot of the other ones out there with it. Wow, that, that's, um, that was unexpected. Yes. And right now, also something unexpected. The, the biggest box here on the table. Be ready for masterpiece. This right here, look at this. It's bigger than my head. In my hand right now is one Jacob & Co. You know the company? I've heard of them, maybe in passing, but I do not know the company very well. Okay, look at the box. Wow, beautiful craftsmanship. Right now here, oh, is the Astromina Sola. This one looks like, yeah, you have all the kind of different planets inside of a watch. This is a real piece of art. I need to show it to you in detail. The brand is uh, not that old, okay? Um, they are more focused on diamonds until they entered the watch game and now they are doing this beautiful timepieces. Looks good. Looks, uh, how do you, where do you tell the time at? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's more kind of a decoration, but also yeah. this watch has uh, one place which t which tells you the time. So, uh, yeah, you have all the different planets. Wow. It's uh, I mean, it's beautiful. It looks like a work of art. Yes, yes, for sure. If you will see, if you are going to see the, the, the detail pictures of this watch, it's just you get lost in it. If you if you have this watch on your wrist and you look at it, it's just, you know, magnificent, beautiful piece. So the retail price for this one is um, 200, uh, I think 260,000 euros, something like this. Okay, and how long, how how old is it? How long has it been out? Uh, this one is out since uh, one year. So I'm gonna guess that we'll, we'll go three, 380,500 euro. Okay. Look, now in the modern days, it doesn't matter with whom you are talking to. If you are speaking about watches, everyone will say, yeah, it, it costs more than the regular retail. But there are some brands which are selling below the retail price. And it's also on this watch the case. Currently, you can buy a watch like this for 220,000 euro. Isn't that a deal? You know, I'm sure in some circles that that sounds like a great deal. I'm thinking for me, you know, just a you know, kind of an average guy here in the Midwest of uh, the United States. That's like, wow, that's a house. But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, yeah. I, yeah. But if you want it, oh, we can yeah, do a deal. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and <laughs> trade. Tra I'll trade my house for that. that that'll work out. Go. <laughs> yeah. The world of watches, you know, it's a crazy place. So if there's anything I'm taking from today's video, Mark, it's that I am not going to become a watch investor. So that's the one big lesson that Antonio takes. You know a lot about watches and you've been doing this for a while. And if anyone wants to learn more about watches, see some more of these brands or, you know, see, you know, even some crazier watches. Watches, they go over to your channel, right? You've got quite a few videos and you talk about watches a bit over there. Yeah, uh, we have, we, we cover all different kinds of topics. I mean, of course, today I showed you more expensive kind of watches, but the watch world offers 
pieces in all different price ranges and um, so you don't need to spend this amount of money and this is just my passion uh, since I'm 20 years old and I earned my first money I'm putting everything in this also uh, I didn't listen to my parents uh, when I got let's say one amount of money I always put 100% into watches and until now it went good so far. Well, Mark, thank you so much for sharing your story, for coming on my channel. And gents, if you're watching this video, you want to learn more about watches, down in the description of today's video, I'm going to be linking over to Mark's channel so you can check out all the other videos and explore his channel. Mark, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.